Hey guys, this is Subhashish Mishra, your test coach. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is some common myths about software testing. So if you are a testing professional or you want to start a career in software testing and watching this video, this video will be very helpful for you. I am going to talk about some common myths in software testing. You may or may not agree with me on few points as well as we have different perspective. Still, I like to share my experience with you guys. So it will help you in your long term career goal. So let's start. People from outside IT industry or college students, they have a different perspective about testing. What they think is, testing is very easy. Testing is clicking at random places. Testing is just documentation or filling some Excel sheets. Anyone can test a software application. So what happens? Usually people think testing is not a creative job. Testing is just to click on few random links or check some buttons are working fine or not. That's all and anyone can do it. But in actual to test a software or to break a software with the intent to explore potential bugs is not possible for the person who developed it or just a common man cannot do it. It needs a lot of experience in domain or you can say end to end product knowledge, technology and main important thing is thinking power. You should able to think a lot about the product, right? So testing a software is never easy and it is not like that anyone can test a software application. Okay. So we'll move to the next things. Again, people think if they are not from CS or IT background, they can just do a testing course and can get a job. And people with weak coding skills are assigned to testing, right? It really doesn't matter. If you are a non IT background or you are not good in coding, then you have to do only testing, not like that. It comes with your passion, what you really like to do in your life or in your job. You can learn any skills, any coding language at any point of time. Again, thinking that if I will join as a tester, I will never code, that is not going to happen in today's time. You need to learn coding. You have to upgrade your skills and you need to learn automation testing. Also, one more thing, being a tester, you may need to write some complex SQL queries just to validate some data or if you have to create test data in case of you are doing ETL testing or data validation, right? So that is also one important aspect. You need to learn SQL, you need to learn different languages, right? Then we will move to the next myth. QAs are inferior to developers and QAs are paid less than developers. Testers have a low pay scale or testers are inferior to developers. If this is happening to you, then maybe you are in a wrong place and you should think about a job change. I will say these things were there like four or five years before or you can say more than that, but not now. In some places I have seen QAs are getting more than developers. Again. Salary depends on lot of other factors. So thinking that being a tester is the only reason you are paid less, that is not true. Okay. Now we'll move to the next myth. Testing is time consuming or testers delay project delivery. Nowadays with agile and automation in place, testing is done in parallel with software development. Testing finds bugs and fixing them and re-verifying them takes time and sometimes it delays project delivery. But again, the delay happens only if testing effort is not planned well. So testing is all about quality of the product and for better quality, you need more time. So you should plan your testing activity properly. So you will not take more time. We'll move to the next only fully developed products are tested. So there is no doubt testing depends on the source code, but test cycle can start parallel with development tasks like 
reviewing design of the software, preparing test plan, writing test cases, building automation test suite can be done parallel with development activity. Also, testing can be done in an incremental approach. So, once a small feature is ready, that functionality can be tested independently. And once the complete product or all the features are ready, the final round of test can happen with the regression testing. So, it's not like that. Once the complete development is completed, then only you can start your testing. Okay. So, every small things you can test and finally, your testing can be done on the completed product. Okay. So, it is a myth that only fully developed products are tested. Okay. We will move to the next one. A tested software is a bug free. So, the very first thing you need to understand is testing is a never ending process. Okay. And a software cannot be 100% defect free. Though there are lot of process involved in testing and people try to cover different scenarios to test an application, but no one can guarantee that it is tested and it is 100% bug free. There can be some corner cases or some different approach to execute same task okay, which can lead to a bug. So, no doubt testing makes the software quality better, but not 100% bug free. Okay. So, a tested software is not 100% bug free. Okay. We will move to the next one. Missed defects are due to testers. Okay. And one more thing is testers are only responsible for quality of the product. Okay. So, in most of the time it happens when a defect is missed, it is due to testers, but that is not correct always. Sometimes there can be a design gap, there can be a unit testing issue or a requirement problem. But yes, if the defect is part of testing scope and defined in the test plan or test strategy, it is a miss from testers. So, testers are not only responsible for quality of the product, it's altogether a team's effort starting from design, development, testing, deployment and support. Everyone should keep quality in mind. Okay. So, it's not only testers job to make the quality, it's everyone in the team, it's everyone's responsibility. Okay. We'll move to the next one. A tester's only task is to find bugs. Okay. So, this is a big myth. You can say finding a bug in a software is a task for a tester, but not the only task. Right. So, one more thing I want to highlight here. So, rather than finding bug, preventing a bug helps in saving time, cost, effort and of course quality. So, testers having good knowledge in product or domain participate in design and help in preventing bugs. So, a good tester can prevent a bug okay, rather than finding it. So, testers are always responsible for complete end-to-end -end product delivery starting from design to deployment and supporting customer issues and developers are only responsible for a specific component or area that is assigned to them. But testers understand the overall working of the software, what the dependencies are and the impact of the module or some other module, another module. Okay. So, testers has lot more responsibility than finding bugs. QA specialist understand the product, they propose different solutions, they check the requirement, okay. questions if everything is done properly. Okay. So, there are lot more opportunity for testers. Okay. We will move to the next one. Test automation is equal to Selenium automation suit. So, this is very popular, right? So, nowadays, most of the people who are just new to software testing industry think that if we need to learn test automation, we need to learn Selenium. Then we will be a automation specialist. That is not at all correct. Any testing activity you are not doing manually, you are writing some code for that and code is doing that testing activity for you, that is automation. So, for automation, you can use any language or any tool. Selenium is just a UI automation tool. There are lot more automation tools available in market like REST Assured, you can use for API automation, APM, you can use for mobile automation, JMeter 
for performance testing you have cucumber you have qtp you have load runner you have catalina studio so lot more tools available than only selenium right so don't think that test automation means only learning selenium automation okay there are lot more automation tools okay we'll move to the next one test automation should be used where possible to reduce time yes it is true that test automation reduces the testing time but it is not possible to start test automation at any time during software development test automation should be started when the software has been manually tested and is stable to some extent moreover test automation can never be used if requirements keep on changing okay so things needs to be little bit stable then only you will get result of your automation okay now let's move to the next one in hiring look for test automation anybody can do manual testing no call for only manual testers which is then interpreted as manual testing is dead so most of you would have experienced it in interview they will just ask only automation testing questions because people think test automation is the only criteria for good qa which is not correct always someone is very good in automation doesn't mean that he or she is very good product qa so testing is a special skill and they are the most creative people it's not so easy to look at one thing from a different perspective which testers do so it's a big myth in hiring process if you are only looking for test automation in the interview okay you are not focusing on manual testing okay then the other thing is no calls for only manual testers it is somehow true you will get very less interview call if you are a only manual tester but that doesn't mean that manual testing is dead nowadays company wants people with good skills like they can perform both manual and automation testing as per the need but manual testing is there and it will be there always okay you cannot do 100% automation you need manual testers you need functional testers who can verify your product who can do very good product testing because end of the day we have to deliver a quality product okay and quality comes from both manual testing and automation testing okay so manual testing is not dead manual testing is there manual testing is there everywhere and everyone will accept it then we'll move to the next one reporting to a dev lead is a block to a tester's career ideally in many organization you will find separate verticals for dev and qa there will be dev manager and some developers reporting to him or her and there will be a qa manager and qa people are reporting to that qa manager okay but sometimes it happens a dev manager leading a team with both dev and qa people and similarly a qa manager is leading a team having both dev and qa people so it can happen nowadays with agile it's happening a lot depending upon your organization change it can happen a qa can report to a dev lead you can say it is not the best situation but it really doesn't matter a lot as long as you are getting the opportunity what you want to do and the proper help and guidance when it is required so good leaders understand your skill set and provides opportunity as per that and definitely it is not a blocker on your career but yes many of us face this kind of things we are reporting to a dev manager or dev lead and that's not a blocker for our career okay then the last one testing is too expensive finding issues after the release cost more than testing during software development a major bug can cost a lot it can impact the business it can damage the company reputation customers trust a lot more which is very very expensive than testing a software there is a saying pay less for testing during software development or pay more for maintenance or correction later so early testing saves both time and cost in many aspects so if you will think properly testing is not expensive at all but yes if you will not do testing and you will miss a bug and it will happen in the production then the cost is very very high 
okay and it can impact your business it can damage company reputation customers can lose trust from your company so many things can happen for a small bug okay so that's all i have i hope this video is helpful for you if you are hearing such rumors about qa i hope you will not be misguided after this video if you are watching this be a tester if you believe in qa it's an amazing job to do and you are going to enjoy and love it don't forget that you are paid to improve the quality of the end product and your excellent skills believe in yourself and accept the challenge it's really not everyone's cup of tea so be a good tester and make a quality product thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel